day after I just set up this plot stand up just a little tiny bit of bait right there just to try to get some photos and it's tore up there's tracks all over the plot the feed most of it's gone deer tracks all around it so let's go and take the SD card of my hand right there and see what we got now I'm a little bit nervous to check this just because my camera when I went out to read the card using my camera it said no images it has me a little bit nervous but it should have some photos on it that's why I'm a little bit hey well there's something <laughs> look how close that pawn is to the camera it's a big old mature doe. And then there's me checking it to see if there's any pictures. So, so the time is off by basically 24 hours. It says 8.38 p.m. but it's really a.m. Because this says 5.57 a.m. The deer were out there at 5.57 p.m. We didn't get many more photos than that, but they did go down there and they were eating on that feed because they saw the tracks all in a circle around that little pile unless for some reason the pile is just a little bit far enough to where like any other deer that were feeding on it wouldn't have seen them. I'm gonna dump out some more and just keep a camera out there and see what happens. Could just be a doe and a couple fawns the entire time building up to the season and if that's the case that'll make it difficult because I'm not gonna shoot a doe that has a fawn with her while it's still spotted. So we'll see what happens but we'll keep a camera out there and, and I'll update you guys as we go. Well fam we are going to go and pick them up in Cadillac. I got it all cleaned out finally. Got it all vacuumed out so it's not a not an embarrassing mess when they get picked up. However, why we're picking them up is very simple. We got them a hotel about 15 minutes from here and the actual Enterprise car rental that we paid for is actually right like next door to the hotel. So I told him, I said, hey, you know, since I'm 15 minutes away and I'm kind of the direction he's gotta go to leave town, I will meet you at Enterprise. You tell me what time tomorrow morning I'll pick you up and that way you don't have to like drive out here, get your truck and try to rush back, following somebody back to the Enterprise just to drop it off and then rush back up north. So I'm just going to run this to get washed real quick. I'm leaving about 45 minutes early. He's only about 15 minutes away. Pretty excited. Hopefully it all goes well. Adam is here seeing his truck for the first time, other than about 15 seconds ago when we pulled up. Keys are in the ignition, by the way. Everything's unlocked. Not as loud as it should be, right? No. <laughs> See, there's the battery voltage thing. <laughs> so you approve? Oh yes. Everything you expected? Oh yeah. Well, you enjoy it. Here it goes. on the road now we didn't get like a ton of video with him on camera just because he didn't really want to be on camera like a lot and i kind of told him i would just kind of keep it basic just because he didn't seem like he was like super super cool with being on camera like a ton i respect that like because i know how it was when i first started filming i thought i'm like dude I, did, I really just don't really love being on camera but i thought i would do it and give it a shot so i understand i'm totally relatable and if you show up and you're like hey i'd rather not be on camera a lot we're going to respect that request and not put you fully like camera in your face the whole time just because we want you guys to be comfortable when you pick up your vehicles and not feel like chasing you down with a camera in your face the whole time and making you feel uncomfortable. So Adam, super good to meet you. Super good to meet your lady. And we cannot wait to, you know, see the pictures on Instagram, hear the feedback, see how you're enjoying the truck. It is a beautiful truck. And I think you're going to really, really enjoy that thing. Yeah, have fun with it. It's one heck of a truck. Well, we're going to load the OBS back up. We got to haul the tractor back over to my dad's farm because he's got to use it first thing in the morning. So let's get this thing all loaded up. Ready to take off in the 7.3. Wait to start. Runs 
absolutely awesome. Oh yeah, and just so you guys know, every order placed between August 5th and August 8th, which is this Saturday at midnight, is gonna get cash in your order. And no, we're not just gonna give everybody $1 bills. Anyways, if you wanna enter to win this OBS, every $1 is one entry, and on top of that, you're gonna get cash back. Guys, I also thought I would let you know that I did work out a deal with Whistling Diesel to buy his first gen as well on the Specialty Forge wheels. I think it's like green and grayish. The two-tone color is a little bit funny. I don't know exactly what color it's called. So we did work out a deal on that truck, so we should be picking up both of his trucks, his Dually and his first gen, by... August 20th, I think is what we agreed on. We did also get in touch with the bank regarding the property that we looked at. So a lot of stuff going on. And I just want to tell you this, anybody out there that is a business owner, an entrepreneur that started from scratch on their own and they don't have anybody really helping them out financially to get started or anything else. I just want to tell you that uh, I've been there, I've done that. And you know, I'm still only three years into this journey of pretty much like doing running an online business and getting all this stuff going and all this other stuff. I've always been fascinated with, you know, money and numbers and just figuring it out and trying to figure out what's going to grow the business, what's not, what's going to turn a profit, what's not, and just trying to figure out like the best way to maneuver that. It's not as easy as, you know, some people make it look, you know, I try to make it look like it's, you know, a pretty easy thing to do, but behind scenes, it is actually a very strategic and a very complicated matter. And it takes a lot of freaking time. Like it takes a lot of man hours to do this kind of stuff. And it's not just like, oh, you know, like he makes a video and then you know, his work's done. It's very deceiving when you're on YouTube because people see a video and whatever they see on the video, if they see you on video a lot, they just assume that, oh, that's all he does, you know? Which I get that. It's hard to understand the rest of it if you don't see the rest of it. But just a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff that, you know, sometimes, sometimes it can be scary making certain decisions because you're like, man, um, I have the money to do this, but is it going to be a good investment? Is it going to grow the business? Is it not going to grow the business? Like, and sometimes you just gotta kind of take a, how do I put it, a calculated risk and just kind of make a projection of what you're hoping for, but also what's realistic. And that's kind of like what I'm thinking, like with buying the Whistling Diesel trucks. It's not that, you know, I need those trucks, but it's the hopes that it'll be good for the business. It'll be, you know, good for helping shine some more light on our channel and just uh, on the business and what we do. And that's just kind of like why I'm doing it. It's more of a calculated risk kind of like well it's kind of a lot of money for those two trucks but could it better the brand that's a risk that i'm willing to take you know if you don't take a chance you're never gonna know what could have been and i don't want to look back and go shoot in a few years from now like how much further ahead could i have been if i would have taken certain risks along the way it's one of those things you just gotta kind of gotta weigh out and that's why a lot of people don't run their own business and they don't want to be an entrepreneur because it can be unfun at times and you have to make decisions that are kind of nerve-wracking but uh it's kind of what keeps us going because you never know what's going to happen next thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video smash that thumbs up leave your comments down below subscribe if you're new join the team join the family and i will catch you guys in the next video remember cash in every order until saturday so if you want to enter to win this obs plus five thousand dollars cash and get cash in every single order place those orders before this weekend peace